Hello everyone! Let's start working on our first Splash Studio event. Now the Splash Studio integration makes it easy to automatically create studio events. As an added bonus, this integration will already be enabled on your account. Let's review the integration settings to make sure that we're all set. Start by clicking on the Integrations tab and then locate the Splash Studio integration. Inside, you'll find options to trigger the integration based on certain actions. So you can add Splash Studio to events based on their event type or restrict Splash Studio to certain groups. To add Splash Studio to all of the events your team creates, leave these boxes unchecked. If you make any edits, just be sure to hit click save and make sure that the integration is toggled on. It's as easy as that. Now that our integration is set up, we can move on to creating our first studio event. To get started, we'll head back to the events dashboard and we'll click new event. Here we'll enter our event title, in this case, virtual barista experience. We'll select our event type as virtual. Remember that if your integration is based on a certain event type, be sure to select it here. As for how our guests will attend, we'll select virtually. Then we'll enter a date and time in the future, July 27th at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then we'll go ahead and select a theme. I'll choose this simple event theme here. Great choice. Now from the event overview, we'll jump into the virtual event page touch point. This is where our studio event lives here in the live stream state. Notice that my studio event inherited the event title and start date and time that I entered back in the create flow. These details can be updated at any time from my event settings tab. Splash also placed my event image as the background image here, which is great. Now the virtual event page is where guests will check in and view the event. But in the top right hand corner, you'll see a hosting link button. This is where you will rehearse for your event and also where you will host the live event. Be sure to keep this link private to you and your co-hosts and presenters. Copy and share the appropriate access codes with your hosts and presenters so they can join you backstage. More on that in a later lesson. Now, if you wanna make adjustments to your studio event, like adding the networking circles feature, great for breakouts, or request other changes to the studio interface, click the Splash Studio Embed button in the layout tree and select Embed Options. Here you'll find a link to access the Event Change Request form. On this form, you'll start by entering your basic contact information, and then you'll select whether you want to edit the engagement tools, for instance, if you wanted to remove chat or polling from your event, or you can select Set Up Networking Circles. First, give your networking space a name, like the place to be, and then decide how many circles or breakouts you'd like to add. In this example, I chose two, but Studio supports up to five circles per event. Give each circle a name and decide a capacity for the circle. Studio supports up to 100 attendees per circle. You can also optionally designate a circle owner Think of this like a moderator for the circle who has advanced permissions like the ability to remove attendees. And you can also upload a headshot or a logo to represent your circle and help your attendees navigate to their preferred discussion, but that's also optional. So once my form is complete, I'm going to hit submit and the splash team will take care of the rest. 